Look, yo, jewelry is great to elevate any fit. The problem is I don't want you to start throwing on jewelry without knowing the basics. See, when it comes to jewelry, there's seven rules that I believe every dude needs to follow to make sure you always look good. Let's hop into this. Number one, don't you dare pierce your left ear. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. If you believed, I don't know about you, but growing up, I was told that all the time, like, yo, 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 don't pierce your left ear because that's your gay ear and your right ear is your hetero or vice versa. I don't even remember, to be honest. The point is that the rule is a myth and what you do need to realize is that if you're going to wear earrings, the best way to do it is to keep it balanced. In my opinion, rather than just piercing one ear, pierce both so both sides of your face look balanced. The only rule you should stick to is keep it minimal. When it comes to your ears, you don't want to go crazy. So usually one earring per earlobe is more than enough. Number two, learn how to stack your necklaces. Look, it takes a certain level of know-how to stack necklaces. The problem is that if you're going to do it, you want to follow two major rules. One, you want to make sure they're either different sizes like you're seeing here. That way you can see both necklaces or two, you want to make sure they're different shapes. In other words, you don't want to stack necklaces that are the same size and same shape because then they're just going to get jumbled together and it's going to look like a massive rope chain. Stacking is no different than layering clothes. The goal should be for you to expose every single layer and every layer you do effectively just adds to the complexity of your fit and makes you look better. Now honestly, our sponsor Rose Gold and Black is going to make this a breeze for you because they actually already sell stacked sets. So you don't even have to do any of the work. You can go right now that they're having their Black Friday sale where their stack sets are up to 50% off. So this stack set, which is their minimal bar stack set, it comes with their box chain and their minimal bar necklace. The cool part is you can wear them separately or you can wear them together. So it gives you crazy versatility. And right now for the 50% off deal that they're having, bro, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for this entire silver set. Yo, most people are gonna think you spend like three, 400 bucks. You're gonna spend 50 right now for Black Friday. If, look, if I were you, I would stock up for Black Friday. This sale is not gonna last long. And if you've been looking for jewelry for men, Rose Gold and Black is your one-stop shop. See, with Rose Gold and Black, they got you covered from watches to rings to necklaces to bracelets. Whether you want beaded, leather, metal, whatever type of style you want, they got you covered. And they got you covered with minimal designs that are easy to implement. Like you can throw these in with any style you want. Now this is Rose Gold and Black's biggest sale of the year. So expect some of this stuff to move fast if I were you, I'd go right now because they're not only doing this crazy 50% off on stack sets, they're also still including that free gift. So for every single order you place, you're going to get either a free bracelet or a free necklace. Again, keep in mind, these can sell for 40, 50 bucks on their site at regular price and they're going to send it to you completely free. So not only is everything 50% off, you're also going to get a free bracelet or necklace. Like, yo, if you've been wanting to create a jewelry collection, right now is the time to do it because you're never going to get it more affordable than ever. And right now is the time to just stock up. Yo, buy gifts for your friends, for your family, for your brother, for your sister, because, yo, this prices, you'll never see again. If you guys want to check out Rose Gold and Black and check out their stack sets, Click that link down below. Number three, know where to wear your watch. See, again, watches, it's one of those staples every dude should wear. The problem is you need to know where to wear it properly. The thing is that it's different for everybody. See, I wear my watch on my left hand, but that's because my right hand is my dominant hand. For you, if you're a left hand dominant, you want to wear your watch on your right hand. The point is the watch always goes in the non-dominant hand to keep it away from the hand that does all the work. That way the watch stays safe and it doesn't become obstructive when you're doing your daily tasks. Number five, let's go over rings. Again, the rule here is pretty simple. Balance your rings across both hands. Similar to the earlobe, you don't want to stack up all the earrings on one side. It's better if you can have them across both hands so there's symmetry in the way you wear your jewelry. Another thing for you to consider is that your rings mean something or your fingers mean something. For example, your middle finger, that's your wedding band finger. So when you wear something there, you're signaling to everybody that you're married. Your pinky finger is usually a personal statement finger, something that you can use like a family crest or an initial or something like that. And then your pointer finger usually symbolizes some sort of alliance to a group or organization, whether it's a team or a school, etc. So keeping that in mind, you can use your fingers to send messages as well as looking good. And finally, number six, match your medals to your veins. Let me explain. This, this one right here might be the most important rule yet. See. When it comes to whether you should wear silver, rose gold, or gold, it all depends on the color of your veins. See, the color of your veins is going to detail your skin 
undertone. And you want to make sure that whatever color jewelry you wear complements your skin undertone so you look your best. This is why I usually wear silver. So to do this properly, you're going to want to find somewhere where you can see your vein and go up to a natural light and you'll be able to see a color of vein. If your veins are a bluish or a purple, it means you have a cool undertone. If they're greenish, it means you have a warm undertone. And then if for whatever reason you see all three, green, purple, and blue, it means you have a neutral undertone. Now that you know your undertone, here it becomes simple. See, if you're a neutral undertone, you're lucky. You get to wear whatever color you want. It complements your skin undertone. If you're a cool undertone, the lighter colored metals are gonna look good like your platinum, your white gold, and your silver. If you're a warm undertone, the warmer metals are gonna look good like your rose gold and your gold. Now that you know that, you can go wear your jewelry and now you'll look good. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. And also, don't forget to check out Rose Gold and Black Sale. If you guys want to check out their Black Friday sale, it'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.